Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now I hope I can put this up because I hope that it's going to be in the shot. I'm actually sitting out in the lounge room on, on my recliner chair, <laughs> my table in front of me. Um, I'm better now, look at me. Well, just got a little bit of issues, but I'm good. I'm really good. Um, and I really want to come back on here and show you what I've been doing and, and um, do a little bit of crafting today. Um, a cat's in the window just here next to me. I just, I just made a sort of purr noise. <laughs> um, I'm just going to cut out some paper to make a roll up. I'm going to cut the, I didn't know why I'm going to do this because I do like to leave the round circles in there. Now he's going to scream at the door, but I can't let him out. I'm not, not going to do it just yet. I'm going to do this first. I really would have liked to have left the holes on this, but I don't know what 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 made me cut them off. <laughs> anyway, um, I've got glue all over me. I just filled up one of my glue pots from an old one because I wanted, didn't want to waste it. I just want to get a piece of paper, put it down in there, and I'm going to show you then what I'm going to do with it. Um, I might I might distress it a bit in a minute, but we'll work on that as I go. Um, I've got to um, finish doing the. Uh, this is my Thumbelina book. I want to finish doing this because I wanted to make finish doing the other ones that I've been working on. So I'm going to fold this so it comes undone like a. Uh, You know, like a concertina sort of idea, I think. I think it's going to fit in the hole. So I'm just going back one way and then back the other. doesn't matter if it gets a little bit um, distressed a bit, you know, because we wanted to make it look a bit, a little bit old. I didn't want to actually make this a, a vintage thing, but the paper that was in the book that, um, that I'm making it out of, well, it was fairly old, so... Of, um, I'll talk about that a bit more in a minute when I just fix this. I'm trying to make it so it's pretty level. It doesn't have to be exactly. Be better if it's not. They say it looks more uh, authentic if it's a bit, a bit older looking. It would squish the other way. I'm gonna get my. In here and do along these lines. Do along the creases. Okay. I won't distress it too bad, but I think I'm going to do the next book so it has got a lot of distressing in that in it and make it look old, um, vintage sort of style. I'm hoping that I've made this so it's going to fit down in here. Uh, there you go, look, it did. And I'll put something on that, won't I? Let's get a bit of washi tape. Now, I guess I can do this while I'm doing the video, like this video, I can show you that I have been buying some washi tape, <laughs> really nice bits look, I've got this one here, I hope you can see it okay, um, it's got a uh, bird on it and flowers, I hope you can see that, and that probably cost me a couple of dollars, a bit more than, you know, wasn't 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 many much money no and then I got this one I've actually bought a whole heap look look at this and I, and I'm going to find some more after I do this video <laughs> I'm going to go and find some more and I've got this one here now I bought them all on AliExpress but you can go on there and see what you can find you know you just type in washi tape and that one there I've actually got on the front of this book here in the front page and then where I put it on the red on the pink part you can see it like a pink you can see it from the background look at that um so I've got a whole box full look at look how wide this one is haven't even taken out the plastic yet let's do that eh just for, for fun <laughs> well, I'm supposed to be doing one thing but this I'm not crafting and this is what I do I mean if I've got to stop to, to look at my mail which I already done that because there it is so. I um wood. So this is washi tape, isn't this? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Look at that. Look at that beaut. 
He's cut a bit off and put it on your envelopes or your, in your, your journals or whatever. I think there's five metres on the majority of them. Some of them could be bigger, but I don't think they are. This one here's got cameras on it. This one here's got little books on it, some little books. Um, that one's a music one. Some of these, I think, was this lot, cost me 66 cents a thing. I think it might have been these ones. They're only 66 cents each. This one here probably was $4. But gee, that's a lot of stuff you get for $4. I mean, you know, they were just all different prices. This one here even came in a, in a fancy little box. I bought that one uh, a while back. I've had this for, for a little while. I don't know if you can see, there's a nice picture of a lady on that. You probably see it in, in some on my <laughs> books or in my work somewhere. You might have seen it in that last book I did. I think those two, this one here's got um, a sewing machine and and things like that on there. Look, isn't that cool? Paint brush. You can see you can cut them into um, separate bits if you want to just use them on something by themselves. Well, I might put. I think I've got one with a paint. Is this one with a paint brush? Yeah, maybe I should put that on the top of that piece of paper. And then I've got that other. Hang on a minute. I'll think about that. Hang on a second. It'd be good if you, you could see what I was doing, wouldn't it? I'm trying I'm trying really hard to, to do that. I really miss being on here, and I haven't been had the chance, and um, my family's gone off to um, off for the day, and I'm home by myself, and it's okay. My husband went out with my daughter and his, uh, our, maybe could be our future son in law. <laughs> and um, they've gone out for the day, and me and the cat are hanging out, okay? <laughs> so I've got to, I can just do my video here where I'm sitting. He told me I wasn't allowed. I'll be said, don't move. <laughs> oh, no, don't move, and um, if you go anywhere, take the phone. <laughs> Probably have to use a walking stick. You know, who wants to fall over and have to ring the ambulance? Not me. You want to get someone to look after me. I'm not, I'm capable of looking after myself. He just worries. They do that, um, you know. I'm just undoing this other one. Look at that. Look at that, isn't that cool? Watching a book in the world. In a pipe. There's a pipe with some glasses. I might put that world one on this. On this other thing here, there goes that voice of mine again. It's okay. I feel so much better. I've actually only been out once since I've seen you last, because I had to um, had to get out before I went crazy. I'm <laughs> too late, but anyway, I um, I'm just going to use this bit here. Well, that's that's most of them anyway. So I'll put it back down under the tripod and try not to bump the thing. We've got the um, ink back over there, so where's that piece of paper here? I can put the little world on there, can't I? Wait a minute now, that's not straight. Ah, oh dear. Doesn't matter, does it? Look, how's that look? Cool, doesn't it? Oh, doesn't that look nice? Now it needs a bit more. You can't just have one thing on it. Your eye doesn't like just one thing. Let me see, what else would I put on there? piece of... Um, Oh, they're all right. Put, put a bit of stamp, I suppose. Put a piece of a stamp on it. I've got, I've got these, um, this, uh, what's the name, stamp? Text stamp. A bit of text. Put on there. Hope it doesn't come out too, too, too thingy. <laughs> too dark. That's all right. How's that look? Pretty cool, hey? <laughs> Oh, it's fun. I do love making journals. I hope everybody else is enjoying this because I I do like doing it so much. It's just so much fun. I You use so much different stuff and you just have so many different techniques, you know, that you can do, use. And I, you know me, I like that sort of thing, you know. I've got a piece of fabric here. I hope you can see. My lighting is not very good. Oh, dear. I feel bad about putting up this crappy video, but I promise you I'll be back in my um, craft space shortly. And um, we're going to stick that on there too somewhere. What do you reckon? Across here. 
What do you think? That'll come up the top of there. That'll look really cool. Okay. And I'll get... I just dipped a half a pot of glue into this. I'm hoping it's going to work now. It's been... I hope it doesn't make a difference to its... Um, thingy. It shouldn't do. It always takes ages for it to come out anyway, doesn't it, really? So, if we put that on there, eh? On the end of the paper. And then... You can just use that to journal on, see? Just open it like this and do your bit of journaling. And if I screwed it up, you know. When we were kids at school, we used to burn around the edge of our paper, remember? And I hope to goodness you'd be putting it out and <laughs> hoping it didn't all catch fire <laughs> to, 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 to put the distress look on it. <laughs> I remember that really plain, I do. I do, I used to do that, yeah. So that looks pretty good, doesn't it? There, yeah, that looks good, I like it. I'm pleased about that. Anyway, look, I'm going to show you what I've done so far. Now, I've got the washi tape along here on this, um, and the birds, see how it looks pink up there and then it's a different colour down there? It's exactly the same tape. But that's how it worked when I put it up. And what's the shadow? The shadow out here is the thing on the... The arm of the, <laughs> uh, what do you call it? Oh, that, that bit here over there. <laughs> the tripod, where you move things around, and I'm sorry about that, shadow. Anyway, so there's, um, there's me, you see the shadow of me camera on my book? <laughs> see this? Here you go. <laughs> um, so I put these bits of up here on, and I stamped the corners. Got a nice little stamp on the corners. And then over the page, I have a pocket here. This is this is because of this light, isn't it, people? Or one or something. Anyway, let's just go on with this. We you can probably see what I'm doing. I mean I hope it's not too badly um visible. Now that's um me cat trying to what are you doing, puss? Get out of that corner. I mean plainly something is. Um this is uh you worry when a cat gets in a corner, but he never does anything, hasn't yet, so that's good. Um, piece of fabric, and then I'll put that bit across the top, and this just left this piece here, like, hanging down a bit there. Okay, so, well, as it, this is me Thumbelina book. I <laughs> didn't show you that, did I? Well, I've got the little book I made. I showed you making that. Okay, so then I've put this page in here. This is out of a different book, um, but it's a little bit of a story, you know, like, and I've got a little thing here so you can lift up your little pocket to put something in that. I've put um, ink around the edges. What have I done here? Oh, I've put that over top of that. Doesn't matter, does it? Ink. I've stamped in the corners, I should say. And I have put ink around the edges of them. So I've got this um, pocket here with the little girl. Um, I made that same way I did the other first one I showed you and I figured out how to do it and I was really pleased with it and this I haven't even finished this I just put it there as a tuck spot um, for the time being you know so you can see that you can tuck something in there I'll put a little birdie on here and you can put something down in there so that's how that works and then I've got another blank page now this one here I cut her out Thumbelina and I put her on the paper, on the page. I put some um, Mod Podge on her because I didn't want her to, to, I wanted to help with the, to make it so it wouldn't be so flimsy. And it really isn't. It made it makes it a little bit more, uh, you know, so it won't wreck or anything. And I've got this little book that I did that you can do journaling in with a few little pages in it. And I've got washi tape on there and the birds on there and I really like them little books that I do and I'm just going to set that for her to hold and I just did that because I didn't want to put her in here and the, the book that I had that I've cut them out of was really big, the pictures thinking about having some of them photocopied and then making them smaller and this one is a different Thumbelina but out of a different book which is there feeding the little sparrow that saved her I believe I never read the book until <laughs> I didn't read it, but I left the writing there to help that 
so you can read that bit if you wanted to and then there's a bit of material and a little piece of fabric and a, a, a thing and this of course it was a pocket haven't fixed this page yet don't know whether what to do yet with it i've got one that one there that i showed you how to make and i've put my podge over that to give it a bit more strength but i haven't put anything in that but so i might leave that for somebody to put things in i made these tiny these good little um paper clip things they just come off there slide off or slip back on and on the other side of it here I've got um, a <laughs> I was just watching to see what the cat was doing he's got something a black piece of something I don't know what it is offer well it could be a piece of material or anything he's playing with that and there's a little fairy hanging on here so that's that's good and there's another pocket here that's the other little thumb balloon and there's a basket so, look, it's a nut actually, and this is a paper clip I made, so I could use that as her. If you want to put something on, on there as well, okay. So in this one here, I've got um, a picture of Thumbelina. I tried fussy cut a bit, didn't do too far because of the hair, and I've got a little. This it's on a glassine bag, and there's a glassine bag behind that. And then there's this little mouse's in your shoe for the tag I put on. Sorry about the shadow. I know. I'm so sorry. I will show you this another time when I'm finished. I just wanted to show you what I'm working on to to do a bit today. And, I'm, and I've done this tag here. And I did that sort of, I've got a bit of brick uh, stenciling on the back. But I did like those little birds, so I think I put, put this in here behind, behind this tuck spot there with the flowers. Cause, and she's looking at this little butterfly, which is hardly visible, but anyway, and she can see across the way there. <laughs> okay, so this is the next one, and it's I think you might have seen this. I don't know. There's a tuck spot there, and I have a little book. There's a mouse with Thumbelina having a piece of cake. And there is um, journaling pages in there and backed on with a piece of calico. Gives it a bit more strength. Bit of fabric on that. And a butterfly. Here's a mouse. Now the mouse is um, a field mouse. <laughs> I haven't put anything behind him yet, but he can be a tuck spot. See? I didn't cut out his fingers because I didn't want to wreck that. So Thumbelina went to stay with Field Mouse and all she had to do was to tell him nice stories at his bedtime and sing him pretty songs when he felt lonely and sad. Now put that on the, on the doily, because I've got a square doily in there and I thought it's never, never nothing usually on the doily so we'll put a little bit, a few words on the doily. But that was the mouse that she went to, went and stayed with. Okay, now this is another just a piece of paper that I another piece I haven't done anything with. There's the other side of the doily. I'm only thinking about putting one very large signature in. We'll see what happens. I could end up putting them in two together. That's a spare page. There's a spare page, but I have actually done something on this one. I've put on some houses off my washi tape and a violin. There's a piece of fabric up the top. Some of these are done at the back and some of them aren't finished yet. And this one here, I'm still working on this one. It's got the pockets in it here. <clears throat> and so there's a pocket in there, there and there. So I'm going to finish that. This is um, some balloon on the, on the sparrow going for a, for a ride across the world. And that's a pocket in there. <clears throat> Here's another one of the um, other little thumbelina and the mouse. And then I've left a bit of the storyline there, and then I've made a, a paper clip. <clears throat> and these ones I don't think I've had. Might be something towards the back here. Yeah, there's this envelope here, envelope that I made. <clears throat> and it's just out of um, the paper off the book. And I've put on some uh, fabric and stamps. I stamped a stamp there and I think that it turned out pretty good to 
you know, for a Thumbelina. For some reason, it isn't the right size. And I made it with the envelope doing part on my rule. <laughs> so it's, that's just for, <laughs> you know, it's just not quite quite right. So there we go. So that's what I've been doing so far. Now, today, I've done that bit, like I said. I, well, we put that bit together, haven't we? Now, I don't know if we need to put anything else on this page. People can journal up there, you know. They can be journaling on that one. This one here, um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to leave that tag in there or not. But I will need to put something on this page, won't I? can't leave it completely bare. I did some little stamping. I did some stamping on there. Now, what else have I got? Oh, you know, I bought these. <clears throat> I bought this the other day because I seen, I think it was Auntie, Ma, Auntie May, she had some. I think it was her. She bought these on the internet. These are square buttons. Look, stamp, a square stamp button. And we can't see that because of the light or something shining there. You might be able to see, pick that up. I hope this camera's doing a good job. Brilliant, aren't they? I think I got 30 of them. Something blocking that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've got 30 of them. Um, look, bag full. Brilliant, aren't they? And they're nice. They're um, probably not wooden, but they've got beautiful pictures on them. Absolutely beautiful pictures. And I got these off AliExpress. AliExpress takes a little while to get things to you, but I am starting now, like I used to years ago, to buy probably one or two things a week like I'll spend probably five dollars a week and that may I'm getting something continually in the mail you know there's always something coming in the mail for me and I got these um, envelopes which I really do like these are, I do like those they're um, gonna be good in a, a vintage journal those things <clears throat> like them. Um, I had a big tidy up here yesterday on my, this is my table next to my chair which is my coffee table in my lounge room that I'm playing at here and I've got, um, let me see, oh I bought these, which everybody's seen these. These are, well you haven't seen them, oh, well I bought them if you've seen them before. These are the Tim Holtz um, people. You know, like he's uh, cut out people. There's a hundred and now there's a hundred and something in that packet. Hundred and fifteen, I think it says. It says on here somewhere. Probably got it covered over with the things itself. But it come with. Well, come with. It didn't come with anything, but it didn't cost me any postage. Here in Australia, I bought them from a lady. And her name is um, Auntie Vera. There's that thing there. And there's no postage. And it cost me $10 something. But that's how much they cost, you know, to buy. <clears throat> well, in Australia they do. And you were not paying postage here, so that's good. So if anybody wants to go and buy, the, there's um, a really good selection of bits in here, you know, there's there's all sorts of things, there's ones of kids and uh, older people and all sorts of different sizes and there's, I don't think there's any many baby ones, but look there's a tiny little girl you can do as a, as a fairy it, it's just really good, it's, I'm not a big fan of fussy cutting, I don't I used to mind it, but I like cutting out things, but not with the in the fussy way, <laughs> not, too, not too many um, so I really wanted pictures too, which I haven't been able to get a, a lot of vintage ones. That was the idea that why I went and, went and bought those. I've had them now for a fair while, oh, well, for a little while. I bought them out here because I thought I might try and do something with them sometime later. Not really today, but sometime later on. And I've got these other bits that I wanted to show you. I just want to fix this in here. Well, she sent it with this piece of board in here so it wouldn't bend it, so that was good of her. 
So that was really good for the for the price. You get uh, there's a hundred and fifteen in there, I think, and it's eleven dollars. That's worth every cent. That is, as far as I'm concerned. You know, there might be doubles and and some the same through it, but it's it's worth it, my geez. Now, where's these other things I bought? Let me see. I've got them here somewhere. I hope you haven't got pictures of me on that that camera there. I'd be very distraught if I thought I had all me. <clears throat> Come on, Sonia. I'm just here, people. Don't don't panic. Nobody panic. Here we are. I found them. I bought these first. These were they're like a sticker. They're stickers. But you can cut them to any shape. Now the cat's out there moving the furniture around in the kitchen. <laughs> Dear old Dick. He's a dear little folder. I do love him. <laughs> um, so this is um, the, a map piece. Now I've cut one bit out because there's a stamp on there. So you can cut the... And I've cut that bit out. And I've cut that... I've used them. But they're stickers. And I think they're awesome. If you want to use it on something like that. I don't know if I used them on there, didn't did I? I used them on something that I did. Something I did earlier. I can't remember what it was now. But for stamps or anything you want to put on, you know, your your work, you just cut them out and stick them up, cut out your bits that you want. That only cost me a couple of dollars for those. And there was ten. I don't know if there's ten still there. But, and these things here are like a clear... Um, piece of uh, vellum or whatever with a sticky tape on it, with a sticky on the back and it's like a sticker too as well and it doesn't matter if it's like a sticker, it doesn't really matter at all, it's just like probably sticky tape, I'll get this out of here and I'll show you, Paul sticker papers and this, you know what, when I bought it though, for some reason I thought it was about 8 inches square. <laughs> And I know I didn't pay very much for it when I thought I was getting a real bargain if it was that big, but this one here's got um, an eye and different things on there. And, you know, I wish that, that wouldn't be wouldn't have made such a mess of this video because I really want to put something up. And this one here, I don't know what actually you can see on that. But see, you just cut bits off, and they're really good to make, I think, um, like vintage things with, you know, that's a piece of wood grain thing. And this one here's a world bit. If you haven't got the stamps or you don't feel like putting on a stamp, you know, you could use one of these as a, um, you just pull the back off it and use your sticky. But anyway, so that, that didn't cost me any much money because I'm very stingy. I'm very stingy. I do. I don't mind paying for things, but I don't like to pay too much. You know, you you got to. You got to. I want more. <laughs> That's what I do. So I try to not to buy the most expensive thing, but it's it still does the same job. I mean, if that's not going to stick very good for me, I'll put glue on it like we do with the washi tape. And that's what I thought when I was buying that washi tape that that's what I would do. Um, I've also. Uh, what else have I got? <laughs> don't know yet. I've got bits and pieces here everywhere, but uh, I can't think of what else I can show you that I bought. Um, I haven't... When I went to the shop the other day, I bought some buttons that you can cover in one book, and that was it. There was nothing, nothing amazing out there at all. So, but anyway, we haven't done much crafting, have we? Well, I've been sh showing you about what you need to grow up with, haven't I? Oh, yeah, I know what I did buy. Okay, and I was so excited about this. I got myself a Daphne's diary. Okay, I don't know, you ladies uh, overseas and that probably seen heaps of these. I did not know that you could get this in Australia. I used to watch everybody on TV, on the videos, what they were doing with them. This has got some beautiful pictures in them, absolutely beautiful pictures and things that you can do and, and work with and um, put in your journals. 
and some of the ladies on here putting up different videos of what they've made with what they've cut out of it and it, it's so nice I just I just love every bit of it because I do like nice things and it's only ten dollars I thought it was expensive because I bought one for twenty dollars postage free because I'm thinking I got a bargain but I didn't I paid for the postage because if they're ten dollars and it would have been $10 postage. So it depends how people were. And I didn't know I could get them here at my own news agents. And um, a friend of mine told me she got one. And I went flying up there to buy one. Look at that in that office. Isn't they pretty? Look. I'm going to be able to go and do something with that. I am. I mean, it, I've got so many things that I want to do. And I just, they're mostly journaling though. I've really got hooked on that, I know. Um, I've done a lot of um, tutorials so far on my channel and I'm hoping that everybody can still find something to to look at that they haven't seen before but what I've done I've got a cat here that has to get me to lift up the blind so he can get in the window <laughs> the chook must have laid an egg she's out there telling everybody so um but anyway this is just so beautiful all the paper's really nice look at this isn't that nice I wanted to do a um a what's the name one of these a, a, a flower one of journal and uh, this has got some really nice things in it really beautiful things that this lady does so but anyway I'm I won't bore you with that I don't think it's boring because it's not but it's a beautiful book and all them stickers that you could use everything in the world is so pretty when you put colour in it, isn't it? Because it is colourful in the first place. <laughs> These are little um, suitcases that you cut out because it's a memory game, which is something that, that should test me. But I don't think I'd do it for that. I could find something else to do with it. And these are things that you can um, put in your journal. So I need to make one that's got more journaling in it. So. We use some of these nice pictures. Look at that. Probably not even showing you any of these. Look at me. I'm keeping it all to myself. This is the July one, and I wrote that on there because I needed to know, like, how long I've got it before I run up there to the next one. <laughs> but anyway, so that's something else I've purchased. So from time to time I do buy myself something. But anyway, I need to have a mouthful of water. So if you'll just give me a minute... I'll get myself a drink of water and then I will have to show you how to make something, won't I? Instead of just doing nothing today, I don't know what we're going to make. I've got no idea. Too much talking. Actually, I'm going to put a bit of... Um, that's what I'll do. I'll put a bit of... Um, serviette onto... I'm just giving me a brush bit of a cooch here, so now I've got my laptop underneath here, so I should be extremely careful because I can't really move it. Maybe I should do because I could end up making a big mistake and have to go and buy another one, which I don't want to have to do that again. Let's unplug that and move it away so I don't have to go and purchase another one. There we go. And I can't keep buying one number every day, can I? A bit of a mess under me. Now, <coughs> so let's put a bit of uh, doily serviette thingy on here, eh? Okay? Just for a bit of fun, because I haven't got anything like that in my book yet, have I? I just want to make, put it there as a, and I've got also, <laughs> but I've been buying this over quite some time. I mean, I've been sick for a while, so over six weeks I think it's been really bad <laughs> um, I bought some foil uh, some leaf gold leaf stuff that bit there I was fiddling with it's all screwed up but it comes in, it costs four dollars that's not bad and I get 25 sheets of this foil stuff and people are putting that in their journals too now so I'm going to have a go at that as well it just comes in this packet with this tiger on it can get out, I think. Hang on. Now that's the bit I was playing with. I want to leave that in there. Because I don't want to wreck it. I did buy the stuff that you put on it. It's called Size. 
that you have to put on it to to set it to what you're doing. Um, a lady I watched this morning, so you just get these little sheets of foil paper. Oh, look at that, that nice. It's only four dollars. I mean, that's not bad money for that because that's going to last me forever for crafting. I did have one before, you know, and I gave it to a friend of mine because I told her I probably wouldn't use it because I know she wanted it, you know. <laughs> so I give it to her. I had a, an auntie a bit like that. She, if anybody ever wanted anything, she'd give it to them. So they say they'd like something, she'd give it to them. I, I try. To, I want people to be, you know, to have what they need. But it just, it just depends, I guess. But anyway, so I might put a bit of that on in something after, see how it looks. But I'm going to put a, see if I can do the serviette by just using a bit of Mod Podge, and not. Um, Worrying too much about being too. This is not going to open for me. Oh, yes, it is. I got it. 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 I know I've got a lot of things out here, but I've got more stuff in my room. And I asked my husband to take some in there yesterday. And he said, he came back out and he said to me, What have you done in there? He said, I don't know. I just get stuff out and then I haven't been well, so I just have to. Put it back in there, haven't put it all away at all. It's just, oh well, it's, as long as I've got room to craft, I'm happy. I, even when I was so sick I could hardly sit here, I used to still get up here and do something because I really wanted to. I never was one for laying in bed, I hate it. I just don't like, I don't even like going there overnight time because I feel like I'm wasting my crafting time. Oh, look, that's cool, that bit on there, isn't it? I feel like I'm, I should be crafting. <laughs> I go to bed thinking, quick, go to sleep so you can get up and do something tomorrow. I do. <laughs> yeah. I do that. I'm a, I'm a really... Um, I do love to do things. I do love to do things. From when I was young, I used to always think if you didn't do something in the day, you wasted it. I don't know whether I learned that at Sunday school or somewhere. <laughs> I used to feel it was a waste of a day if you didn't do something, you know, like anything. Because I can't do much, this is what I do. I can do it if I'm sitting down, whatever, you know, it takes. I'm trying to get all these paper off here, because it should have two things, three things. It has, just this thing on the second, I'm getting it apart. People take it apart with their sticky tape and all this other thing. Somebody's going to just fiddle here with it for... <laughs> I'll get it. Nobody panic. I'll get it. Come on. I didn't, didn't want it to be straight. I can just get it off here and scrooch it up anyway. Come on. Oh dear. Is, aha, aha. I got it. So it had two pieces. And I just wanted to put that on there for the look, you know, just for something on the page. I'm only going to put a little bit on. Don't take much, eh? Let's put that on there. My brush is, it seems to be a bit stiff. It's not too bad, though. Right. There we go. Tear, tear a bit off. There we are. There you go. That was easy, wasn't it? Tissue. That can work. Probably would if I put more stuff on it. I don't think I'll put it right underneath it. When it dries it'll look okay, won't it? It's just a bit of something to to add to the page. Well, see, that's easy. Put one of them in your journals. That's not that. Make sure I've got enough stuff on it. And see how it goes into your page like it's nearly part of it? <laughs> yeah, come on. It truly does, honest. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad, does it? If you can see it properly because of the light and everything. Looks like a spider, but I think it's a... Olive, it says. It says olives. Okay. 
The one with the lady's face on it looks cool. I had another piece too, didn't I, that I cut off. This one here's got a bit of a... And... Well, I don't know what that is. I cannot say pronounce that at all. So I'm just going to put it on there too. Maybe. If I can get all the paper off there. I think I've got both of them off at the same time. Very good. Right. Now, if anybody's watching this for the first time, they're going to wonder, what on earth does this woman think she's doing? Is she not doing anything exciting or anything? I'm sorry, but I'm not really exciting today because this is me having a bit of a... dabble in a bit of crafting. There you go. And then I can use this... Oh, well, it can be a journaling page, can't it? This one. Shouldn't have left that shut, but it didn't hurt it. It's okay. Nobody panic. It's upside down. Aren't I, aren't I clever? Goodness gracious, Sonia. <laughs> it's all right. And so I've got a bit of stamping on there, so that's covered with something. Okay. Now this this one here, there's some wipes here somewhere, but to do the do the thing and wipe it. Um, I don't know if this is going to turn off when it gets to an hour. Do you reckon I've been torturing you for that long today? <laughs> do you think I've been on here an hour? No, I don't think so. Uh, well, maybe nearly close to it, because this will turn off and then I won't know and not unless I walk up there at it. Clean this off here. And me, and me um, thing, because now I'm going to try and put some of that What's the name on? Gold stuff. Let's put some gold stuff on it. See what happens. I don't know if that's quite right for Thumbelina, but I'll tell you what, I'll put it onto something just for the just for the day. We can put it onto a piece of something else and use it in something else. You know, we don't have to use it in um I'll let that dry, that that page. Put this back over here. Put this back in here so I can put the lid back on me stuff. And the mud pouch. You've got to put the plastic on. I never used to. Oh dear. And of course it would get stuck and couldn't get it undone and it would make me so unhappy. <laughs> There's me gold stuff here. Let's try some of this gold stuff. Put it on the envelope, shouldn't I? Hang on a second. I'd have an envelope here, I know I do. An envelope, Sonia. Oh, these, these. These are these, what's the name ones I've got here? Um, these are... Uh, handmade paper ones. That'd look cool on there because I'm sure I've seen people do this. Now, I don't know what I'm going to stick it on there with. Because that girl said she did hers with some just ordinary glue stick. Don't know if that would work really good enough, would it? I'm going to use this piece in here that I've been fiddling with already. You wouldn't be using this anywhere near a breeze, okay? Because, look what it's doing already. Because me fiddling with it. See what it's like? It's just, it's just like, you can't even feel it. You're touching it. It's that light. You know, it really is. I'm going to put some, will I put ordinary glue? That might make a mess. Because I haven't got the size stuff out here. That would be true to me. <laughs> True to me because I think I put it inside yesterday because I wasn't going to actually use this. I'm going to put this up here, see what happens with a bit of glue. I'm going to put some gold on. The gold work. It doesn't work. It's <laughs> okay. Now it's taking it, pulling them off more of me. 
finger than what is going on the thing, on the envelope. Just leave it there so you can want to spread it out. Yeah. Probably would have been better to use a brush, wouldn't you think? No, I think I've got it. There, yeah, well, some of it is. Look, there's some gold on the <laughs> Where am I? You can't see that. No way. What about there? Can you see that? I'll put some gold on. Some gold um, flighty paper, which I probably should put that in a bag or a box. I'm going to stick it back in there because it was, it was all right in there. It, was, it didn't go anywhere before. Ah, oh dear. Right oh. Now that's cool, isn't it? And then you can put a stamp on it somewhere here. And that'd be nice when that dries. It, it, it works, doesn't it? It sits there okay. It's not going to come off. Oh, that bit might have. Maybe that was already stuck to me finger, but I don't know. <laughs> Need to put some of this, uh, what's the name, on it. Everybody puts a bit of this stuff on it, you know, like, what do you call it? Sorry, silk. It's on everything these days, isn't it? Everybody has a piece of sorry silk on their stuff these days. And a bit of diamonds and... You, you put everything on these envelopes. I think a girl of, um, in Amity Bloom, I don't remember her name, she does these sort of things and puts all this pretty stuff on, on, on the things. And oh, you know what I got too? <laughs> I bought myself a seal. Not a real seal. <laughs> Not a real seal. A what's the name? Son an S. An S for Sonia. And I can't find. Oh, yes, I can. Look, I've got a bag full of things. Why can't I find something in it? I bought an S. I think it's in the room too. Everything went in the room yesterday. I could have showed you my S seal. It was... Uh, I've got the um, wax with it. And the little spoon, you hold it in and melt it. And plus, I, well, see, I already have the wax ones. It's um, got, got a... A wick thing in the wax, but these ones didn't. They just melted into a little spoon that you you get with it. Should I put that on there first? I don't know. And should I sew this on, or I'm going to stick it there, and then I'm going to get a stamp and put on here, like a real stamp, not a one that you stamp on, and then I'll get some bling and put on it. I don't know how. Well, I know the how they do make the envelopes but the one's gonna look really crappy. <laughs> Never mind. It's everything can trial and error and you have to have a go. And all my life I've always thought yeah, if I can I'll have a try at that. I've never said I can't do that. Oh well maybe be a model I probably couldn't do. <laughs> this is things that you need to do things, you know, you can't not do things. We all have to try. So many people don't do things because they think they can't. You don't know until you have a go, do you, really? You've got to try it first and see what happens. don't know what I'm doing here, just <laughs> having, a, having a stick down of a few things. I don't know if I can find any secrets or anything like that. Put on these. Not, not in Ari, not here. We'll have to see what I've got. I want to... I don't know if I should put a stamp stamp on this or not. Some of those, um, if that text might be okay. Might have, um, am I still recording? Yes, that's one miracle for me. I haven't, it hasn't turned off yet. I should have made these better on the better day when after I'd learned how to do it. I did a bit of practice first, but, oh, come on, it's just all fun, isn't it, really? I might even put a bit of this on here for some reason. I just love this open sort of lace stuff. It just has a, I'm very attracted to that. I am, but for some reason it's really pretty stuff, isn't it? I'm going to put a bit of that on the red part. Just to, because I want to. All right, have a sequence here. Okay. Um, 
I don't know. Little bling bits. Something. I oh, really lost that. Little bling bits anyway, Sonia. How's this going? Oh, well, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad, does it? Oh, just trying okay. Yeah. That's trying okay. Uh, secret thing. Mm -hmm. Nah. It might be too. Uh, oh look! <laughs> whole whole thing. Here's secrets. Look at this. Oh, they're on a bit. Doesn't matter, does it? I'll put a few on there. Oh, I like it anyway, and that's the main thing, isn't it? As, long as I like it. Doesn't matter what other people think. Well, it does. <laughs> I mean to say it like that. <laughs> Oh dear, I'm not being well, you can forgive me. I'm not being well. I don't know whether this is right or not. Put another piece of stuff on it, why not? It's good fun, add a bit more. You know what, crafting is about, I think, just doing what you want to do. You know, there is, I've had a lot of years where I had to do what people wanted you to do, to do. now I'm going to do whatever I like. <laughs> And if that doesn't look like everybody else's, I don't care because it's mine. You see? And that's why we all should draft like that. We don't care because it's ours. It's our work, our, our, us deciding what to do. It's all to do with with your own self, isn't it? Wait a minute, stamp. Let's find stamp. Is this still recording? Oh, goody. <laughs> it's probably turned me off by now. Anyway, if you did, sorry for... I don't think so. I know my, my subscribers and they really do love watching my videos. Where's the, some stamps? Do I have any? I do. I do. I do. Look at this. These sort of stamps. I've been gifted some stamps and I found a book full of them up at the, one of the opportunity shops one day. Opportunity we call them or, or whatever. Um... And I took them all out of the book and threw the book away because I didn't want it. It was a folder of some sort. Actually, I didn't throw it away. I gave it away. And, um, yeah, so I got a big thing full of stamps here. That I can get. Isn't it marvellous, though, when you've got that many? You've got to find something that you really, really want to use, don't you? You don't want something you don't want to use. <laughs> What's my putting on this today? Okay, there's a, there's a thing. This is a thing. All right, I'll put it on. Put this on. I think maybe somebody would like a po Anybody would like getting a, something in a, um envelope like this, wouldn't they? That should be shorter, that envelope, you know. <laughs> you can do that too. Make them shorter if you want to.